Dear YouTube audience, it's recently come to my attention that my voice is awesome. Therefore, I'd like to read to you from a silly book called The Children's Bible. Let's flip to a random page and see what we can find. Alicia and Neiman. The girl said to her mistress, How I wish my master could go to the prophet Elisha, who is in Samaria, for I know he could cure him. This was repeated to Naaman, who went at once to the king of Syria. Of course you must go, said the king. I myself will write a letter on your behalf to the king of Israel, asking that you leprosy be treated. And so Naaman set off, taking with him a letter and a splendid collection of gifts. Ten talents of silver, six thousand pieces of gold, and ten complete sets of richly embroidered clothing. When Naaman presented the king of Syria's letter... The king of Israel was angry. Am I expected to work miracles, he demanded. This is only an excuse for Assyria to quarrel with us yet again. Elisha heard what had happened, and he sent word to the court. Let Naaman come to me, he said, and his wish shall be granted. When Naaman drove up to Elisha's door with his chariot and horses, Elisha remained inside, sending a messenger in his place. The prophet says you may go down to the river Jordan and bathe seven times in the water. Then you will be cured. Naaman was outraged. Why did Elisha speak himself not to me? All he had to do was touch me with his hand and I would have been healed. And why the Jordan? We have the greatest rivers in my own land. In fury he turned to leave, but one of his servants stopped him. Master, he said, if the prophet has asked of you some difficult task, you would have done it without question. But all he requires is that you bathe in the river Jordan. Should you not agree with this, to this simple instruction? Realizing the sense in the man's words, Naaman went down to the river and immersed himself seven times in the water. When he stepped out on the bank after the seventh time, he saw that his skin, which had been covered in sores, was as smooth and clean as a child. Overcome with joy, he returned to Elisha to thank him. Now I know there is no god but the god of Israel. He begged Elisha to accept the magnificent presents he had brought with him from Syria. Elisha refused his gifts, but blessed him and sent him on his way. That was fun. A single note, that was probably supposed to be Elijah. You know, I'm not wholly caught up in my Bible reading, but fun story, right? See what's next time. I don't know. Probably won't make another one. Have fun.